What's going on, it's Johnny, and welcome back to episode number, I think we're on episode 12 of the GTA 5 campaign walkthrough. We are going to get out of Michael's house, we just switched over, and we're going to go ahead and head down to Simeon. Oh my god, my car is here, thank god. Why is it parked out here? You would think I'd pull it into my house, but... Beats their own, I guess, but... To me, I feel like I would have parked it in my gated community, or not community, but garage, like, that's just where I'm at. We're gonna drive down here to Simeon, though. Or Solomon, sorry. It's not Simeon. Simeon's from Franklin. Solomon. And we're gonna continue on the story. That's, uh, that's where we are right at the moment. We're actually not too far away. Thank God, so... Bada bing, bada bing. If you guys are new, make sure you guys do the YouTube stuff. I need, to, I need to start uh, iterating. Reiterating? That's the word I'm looking for, I think. That, uh, yeah, if you're new, just make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe button, yada yada. You know the drill. The reason why I don't say it that much. Like, I say it, but I also don't say it because it's like. I don't know, I feel like, I think, I feel like that's just a part of it, you know? Like, if you like it, you, you subscribe. If you don't, then you dislike it. You don't. Can I, can I get in here? Like, can someone. Can someone open the gate? God. Can I even, like, go in here without getting shot? Is that a thing? Am I gonna get shot immediately? Probably not. Okay, thank God. I also like how GTA works. It's like, oh. Oh, nope. You, uh, you, you hit my car. I immediately have to shoot you now. Immediately. I can't talk to you about it. I just gotta immediately shoot you. You're a bad guy, so. Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. <clears throat> yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker! <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston, did he, does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or oh, animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work go. with directors or actors. This picture is going to kill me. All right. So what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown. <laughs> it's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies. With lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now... He's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself who knows where. <sighs> all right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm taking this car. Period, end of story. And I'm not gonna argue about it. The thing is, can I even get out of here, though? Uh, there's my car. Why is there no one- Are you gonna open this? Isn't this your job? Okay, I mean, if you're not gonna get mad about it, whatever. It makes no sense to me how- Supposed to open that, and you don't. All right, let's go ahead and uh, handle this. Oh, two wheels there. Hey Solomon, I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. 
Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot some details. Yeah, okay. it seemed obvious. <clears throat> what this Pelosi guy clipped? No, God no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad <laughs> idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set. Ideally, in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. Oops. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts. So if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right, I'll go in quiet. See you on the set, boss. All right. So don't clip him. We just got. I know it's gonna hit him. I hit. Freaking tires been stupid. Tires kind of like didn't take the traction. They kind of slid. Anyway, don't clip him. It's kind of hurt him a little bit. I'm not going to lie, I kind of blacked out from there, so we'll figure it out. I think it should tell him what to do. I hope so. Excuse me. Yeah, well, I'm just going to park right here, dude. So you're going to deal with it, to be honest. Is that him? living in life. Living that, that luxury lifestyle. Gentlemen, you know, I'm just trying to be a YouTuber, you know? What it is. Paradise. It's gonna be sparklers stuck in bottles, implants, tramp stamps, all the real shit. That's Pelosi Entertainment. Now give me a minute here. Just a minute. I gotta go grab something inside. Johnny, we nearly got the club. We're finally a go. Now you take care of these guys. No cold feet. Okay, let's go. Reach the helipad without alerting Rocco. Mm, I cannot wait for this. I'm definitely gonna be have to do this over and over again. I'm assuming. Okay, let's go in here like this. Be careful, be careful. There's two guys here. Go ahead and. There's a cat there. So far, so good. I'm handling it. Hey. I wonder if I can. I need to go that way. I think. Long as you're getting a paycheck every week, keep at it. If he tries to pay monthly or asks for credit, then you. Right. There's that guy. Oh, you can't be here. Sight's closed, pal. You about to have an angry orange dude on you. Not today. Got him. We're good. But easy. You're, you're, you're fine. Why are you why are you bounce around like that? Stop that. Okay, I'm good there. I had to get out of that stance. We're good. Okay. Uh I would say this one. Right? Careful here. Alright. Climb it. Climb it. Right. Um, hoping I can kind of go across this without them seeing me. I think we're fine. Don't. Get up it before they see me, stupid. Can't. I can't see him, so... Day trip's over, gentlemen. You're going back to set. Oh, who's this? Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No, this guy's all mine. <laughs> I'm gonna beat your ass, son. Bop! 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 Yep. I'm about to F you up. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Uh-huh. 100%. Yep. I'm getting all this work. Mayweathers. I just knock him out. I think I just did. All right, spray tan. Easy. We're going to make a new deal. You leave my people alone, and I don't toss you off this roof. All right, yeah. Okay? Sure, man. Sure. All right. 
But Let's I also want it. To the lot. Get in the helicopter. Whoa, whoa, hey! All right, we're still in a helicopter. Oh, you him, but you can't bully talent, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully talent? Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. Change my in his mind by flying I erratically. As they close the buildings. Okay. So we gotta go under stuff and go close to buildings. I think I can handle that. Can't really guarantee it because, well, I'm not that good. What? What just happened? Okay. Can I just like keep going back and forth until they do it? I wonder if I can make that. Oh, we're gonna try it. Ah! Uh, uh, I, I would try that, but I'd probably mess that up, to be honest. So I think we're gonna do... There we go. Let's go. Alright, where am I going? We're back to the studio. Man, these people, Michael, Trevor, Franklin. I think you owe an apology to Mr. Richards. Would I be in pain? No, he should apologize to me. A brutal honesty, bud. You're not that good. It feels folded. You're lucky you're working at all. <laughs> Look at the city. I am an artist, dude. God, dude, that's crazy. Apologizing. When you see Solomon. Looks so good. Hey, hold on. Perfect. Now, what I'm saying was, Michael, Franklin, Trevor, they're like a jack of all trades. I said that in the last episode. But they really are. They do everything. They fly helicopters, planes, drive crazy cars, do freaking all that stuff. <laughs> what a wonderful surprise. Anton, my boy. You're an artist, I know that. And this story is the best kind of art. A simplistic, cliche-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip, I love ya. So Solomon, Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir. And I, I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. Oh, you're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> oh man, that's great. All right, cool. Now is my car out here, please? Hey, Mr. Madrazo, how's that rebuild going? Good. I need to see you. Come to La Fuerta Blanca, my ranch off Senora Road, and bring Mr. Clinton. Hey, look, Franklin. I hardly know the kid. I don't want him caught up in this. You'll need another pair of hands. All right, there's another guy, Trevor Phillips. Me and him are partners. Here? Okay, I'll have my people messenger him. Whatever, I'm at a Perfect. Is there a car in here? I oh, know, but there is a motorcycle. Hmm. Ooh, let's take this one. Go on style. 
Oh, I steal it. With a freaking security guard right there. Great. Yeah, that was stupid, wasn't it? Absolutely. My bad. I'm not only really mad about it, but shut up. We're okay. All right, let's go ahead and uh, go towards this. And we gotta watch these cops. That's my fault, to be honest. And uh, that's really it. Yeah, go ahead and freaking follow me, dummies. Once I get on the open road, you're out of here. All right, we are pulling up to his little ranch now. Man, this is a nice ass place. Uh, we'll probably get out here. Walk up to it. There's Trevor. Him kind of hot. It's a thing. You said you wanted work. This is work. Uh huh. And who's the guy? You'll see. We ever changed clothes? On so and I got blood yes. on me. Great. Hi. <laughs> oh. Hello. We're looking for Mr. Madrazo. Patricia, for fuck's sake, just let him in. Right this way, gentlemen. <laughs> Patricia, get us something to drink, would you? Quickly! Hey, good to see you again, Michael. <laughs> Likewise. Uh, this is my friend Trevor. Uh, sit down. Sit, sit, sit. So, what did you tell him about me, about Martin Madrazo? Martin's an old friend of mine, Trevor. The truth. Said. Martin is a terrifying psychopath who tried to kill me. Exactly. Uh, exactly. <laughs> people. They no longer fear me as much as they used to. People who wear clothes to me. Uh, my cousin, uh, you met in Trevor's like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently, he's, and he's a psychopath about himself. testifying against me. So I have him killed. I'm going to. Huh? By you. Our debt was settled. This is a favor. For a friend. What does friendship mean nothing these days? Ah, uh, hello? What's the deal? This is him. Javier. He's flying off to Liberty City this afternoon. <whistles> and he's taking some files of mine. Innocent files that um, I need back. There's a gun set up in the hills. I have a man watching at the airport. We'll let you know, and when he flies by, shoot him down. And get the files back. A man was a pay. <laughs> huh? Trevor, come on. You still want the drink? Not now! Pendeja! Que no ves que estoy hablando con las gentes aquí? You see him talking to people here? All right. And, he, he, and people actually like that too, which, which kind of makes him I'll upset. All, all right. Hey, let's stay in touch on the headsets. All right, go to the observatory. Hey, where the hell is my car at? If I, if I, I always move my shit. Ooh, I want his car. Hold on. Don't mind me. Gonna steal Mr. Martin's car. Ooh. Give me this all day. Uh, where is that? I don't know what that is. I'm not a car guy. Taking it. For sure. It's taking your car. No big deal. I'll uh, trade you. It's, okay. it's kind of beat up, but uh, it is what it is. It's a long way there. Gotta sneeze. <laughs> Gross. Don't lie to you, that was nasty. Mike, Mike, you there? I got some poor bastard's dirt bike. Yeah, okay. Well, I ain't at the observatory yet. Start heading that way. By the Excuse way, me. I know why you took me there to that guy's house. Understood. Understood what? That he's a terrifying psycho and that you might have that in common? What is it? We gotta work for him. We don't gotta work for anyone, but I read you, man, loud and clear. What are you talking about? A woman. All that Aztec stuff. Those weird little artifacts. Oh. What? The little fertility statues, whatever. The guy has trouble getting it up. We'll clear two, three million on those. Easy. Perverts will pay anything for hope. We weren't casing the joint. Okay. My bad. The guy lives well. That don't mean we're robbing him, but it does mean he's got money to pay people who help him. When the time comes, he'll do the right thing. If he don't, please let me handle it. You don't get a wife like that without being rich and an asshole, right? 
fuck? To fuck? Oh man, that's so funny. I love this game. Love this game to death. God, this is such a far drive. Kind of just like do this. Like who? Who's to sit? Who's to tell me I can't just do this? You know? We'll just bypass this entire road. Oh well, this might be a bad idea. Uh, it's also Mr. Martin's car, so my bad. Not really sorry though, to be honest. Look at this. There's a road right here. Boom. Perfect. Oh, uh, dear! Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, my God. Nailed it. Honestly, that was a nail for me. Get in the van. What are you talking about? What van? Oh, I see it. Excuse me. Let me. Just trying to right, I see the van get in this weird, in creepy you van. I don't know, there's people right there, like... Like, I can see them. I don't know about you, but... What am I doing? I gotta get- oh, yeah, I gotta get in the van, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. What are we doing? There we go. If you could see this gun, it might convince you Martin Madrazo ain't someone to be messing with. The fancier the gun, the bigger He put it right next to the FIB building, too, which is weird. Jet. Shoot the plane's engine. Yeah, well, I gotta find the car. Or, not the car. The engine. Aim for the red... There okay. it is. Out past oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. The jet's moving. Gotta give a lead. Baby. They only need multiple. Give me oh, a wait. Second. Wait. Got him, coach. Two for three. Can we go three for four? Not good enough. Nailed it. He's out of here, coach. Oh my gosh. I'm on a dirt bike? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm really out here, huh? God, this game. Ah! I should have stayed on the road, but we out here now. We're on dirt bikes. Oh! There we go, baby! Smart jump! Woo! There we go. I see it. I know where I'm going. Just waiting. Can I go through this? God, I hope so. Yep. Let's go, Izzy. Oh my gosh. Oh. Let me go this way. Okay, that's okay. We gotta go this way. Listen, I got this for days. Oh yeah. For sure. That's okay. Did you just go down already? My gosh. Just do it. There's a small matter of having a jump the moving train. Mm, I nailed it though. I'm telling you, man, these Trevor Mike as a pig! What the What I was saying was where we were uh Jack of all trades is what I was trying to say. Run, you better be working. Okay, this guy is going down any minute. Good. Let's hope he'll take out. Would you hurry up and go down? Only thing they farm out here is methamphetamine. Ah, Trevor Phillips country. God, I miss it out here. You gotta come visit sometime. Yeah, you know what? I'm good. 
That bus just hit that guy. Oh my god, would you honestly fucking hurry up? Seriously. What, what, right here? Uh, it's not right there? There we go. Oh, I have to go into the plane. Got it. Taking this. Thank you. Oh, my me. I'm out of there, bro. I ain't sticking Back around. Off. Fine. Just fine. I got the files. I'll take him to Madrezzo and explain the human cost <clears throat> of this errand. Oh, take it easy, man. Listen to me. We'll talk about that later. I want you to just drop off the files. I gotta get rid of this rifle, then we'll talk. <clears throat> of course. Get all your DNA all on the on the thing. Of course. Yeah. Alright. Leave the area. <laughs> Just taking the fence with me. Alright, leave the area. Yeah, sure. Where am I going? Destroy the van. Okay. Uh. Alright, yeah. Sure. I need to get on top of like a mountain or something. Can't go there. Let's just try maybe. I don't know, man. To be honest. Let's go. I'm, I'm, I'm probably overthinking this, to be honest, like I always do. Let's go up here. Can I make this? Absolutely. Kind of. Maybe? Maybe. Here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. Wait for it. I'm gonna get up here. Don't you worry about it. Come on. Ah! Come on. Yep. I'm all the way to the tippy top. All the way to the tippy top. Oh, come on. We'll see this freaking nice. There we go, right here. Er. Let's go. Look at that night. Oh, hell yeah. Hey, let's get all this gas on it. Go on top of the thing. Alright. And then we're gonna just do one of these like so. Of course. And then. Okay. I'm on fire now, aren't I? Nope. This is how freaking forest fires are. Or, uh, you know. Made. Am I gonna die from this? Pretty big explosion, I'm sure. Yeah. We're good. For sure. Get me out of here. Alright, now let's go to the Martins. I'll probably just cut when we get there, because, uh,. Now it's just driving. What? There's been a change of plans. You don't need to come to the ranch. Meet me at Stoner Cement Works, a little up Sonora Road from there. What are you doing, Trevor? Nothing you wouldn't do. Trevor. Trevor. Ugh. Oh God, here we go with I this. Wouldn't do. Somehow this I don't crap. That. I need to get down from here without dying. Ah! Oh my God, we really just walked down a mountain. Up! Oh! oh my God. We're here. Let's see what Trevor has to say. Where okay. Is Where's he at? How did I get here before you did? You don't want to meet me here. You should be here. Uh, the My fuck opinion. Has happened. Why did he have his car? Man, that 
piece of turd, huh? No wonder people are stabbing him. He kidnapped him. What happened? Cheap bastard. You know, I really don't know why you mess around with people or like that, Mike. I mean, woman. really, I oh. don't. Answer your fucking question. <laughs> I asked for a fair day's pay after a fair day's work. And he kind of got a little angry. So I admit, I kind of got a little angry. Did you kill him? What kind of fucking animal do you take me for? No, I didn't kill him. Oh, fuck. But I did kidnap his wife. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, shit. What the fuck did you do? Oh, I just Ooh. told you what I just did. Oh, now, shit. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> Trevor I makes think you laugh. we're going to have to lay low for a little while. Well, you know, we discuss things with Martin. Oh, you think? Why don't you hop in the back? All right, now, Patricia, she already called shotgun. <laughs> now, I know a nice oh, little shit. place we can hang out. You know, it's a, a very relaxing oh. little spot. A little getaway, if you will. A cabin in the woods. You know what I'm saying. Do I gotta drive this to a place now? Okay. Okay, as I say, am I, what am I doing here? Is that Why is this not... There's Franklin, right? Come here, boy. Come here. Got an achievement. It's time for the getaway. Good All right. Boy. I'll take it up for a walk. Put the play fetch using the ball and the weapon reel. Listen, I get it. I want to just keep get it, inside, keep it moving. Let's do one more mission. Come on, chop a chop. There we go. All right, Molly. We're here, by the way. Obviously. Hey, Molly. I got to cut the there. Studio. All right, go over the wall and find the car on the lot. And then what? Only the principal actors and stunt people are authorized to go near it. So you could get in wardrobe and play the part or try something else. All right. When you're out of there and clear of studio security, call me. Okay, get inside. All right, find the actor. He's over here. You can knock out the actor to get us close. I'm sick of looking at your face, Tina. Okay. I'm just gonna hit him, I guess. You know how many Bop. Bop. Cool. Give me them clothes, coach. I wouldn't make it so obvious. Like right in the right in the front, you should put him in the bed or something, make it look like he's sleeping. You know, be smart about it. Be a hitman in a way. Like you didn't kill him. Like just make him not sleep or make him sleep. You know, you don't throw him out. Get in the car. You need to get on set. Where the hell is Brandon? Jesus, are you gonna find him? Someone's gonna find him. Okay. What is the point of building all these sets? We gotta put Brandon's head on the guy's hey, body. What are you doing? Get that guy! Get out of the way! Get outside! Oh, oh we're still on this thing. We're going this way. You're gonna kill the woman, you jack wagon. Oh, this is a dope is car. This thing sucks a turn. Doing? Is this a kidnapping? Pull over, Primo! Get off the wheel! I need to get the fuck out of here! Yo, she's on. She's on my down, wheel. Wacko. Yeah, you could you could just hop out right there, like. Is this an abduction? Nah, you cool? God, you stupid right? effing biznatch! No, cool. Not at all. I mean, oh my god, I literally it's I can't freaking do this. What do you mean the whip? I could buy this car with what I make in a morning. I think you underestimating the value of this automobile. I overestimate your own. Talent. Stop it! God, that drives me nuts. I think you're underestimating what I get. Got him. I think you're underestimating what I get paid. You get paid a couple million for a morning's work? Hey! You're the one doing it! Shit, I should... Shit, I should sack my agent. Yeah, shit. Let me out of here! Damn, what's this button do? Thank God. 
God, she's annoying. She kept like yanking the wheel, make me wreck. I got the car and it was messy. That's fine with us, but your associate, Michael DeSanta, has done some work at the studio and he might not be so happy. Yeah, yeah, whatever. What kind of shape is the car in? Well, whatever. We plan on refitting the guns to take live ammunition. Do the traffic spike and ejector seat need replacing too? Uh, both of those are going to need replacing, all right? Good. One more thing. Mr. Weston's security detail are concerned about a suspicious figure near the garage. Let us know if you see something. Absolutely. Gosh, that was uh, annoying. There we go. <laughs> You're developing quite the rep there, Slick. Insurance companies hate these kinds of claims. They don't like cats with the inside edge shorting them either. So how'd it go? Smooth enough, you know, movie people. You know what the irony is? I'm a major shareholder in that same studio, so we just did is practically legal. Ha! Practically. Ooh, shit! Look at this motherfucker. You doing it big, my nigga, on the set. Lamar, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh, chirped your boy Trevor. It's fucked up when you gotta get your GPS location on your homeboys through a motherfucking speed freak. True that. Devin Weston, master of the two-hour female orgasm. What it is, Holmes? Lamar Davies. He was just leaving. Hey, not on my account. You looking for gainful employment, homie? Hell yeah, I'm always trying to get some motherfucking paper. Just the type of guy I like to work with. Predictable. Hey, we could bring your boy here in on the last part of the shipment. Oh, yeah, nigga, that's exactly what you could do. That's exactly Hell what you yeah. could do right man, there, yeah, man. Exactly. If you want him in, then you get him to boost the rest of the shit you got. Oh. Give me my money and I can go on oh, with my motherfucking oh. life. Oh, no, am I sensing tension here, Slick? <gasps> He's the spirit. But you're the brains, am I wrong? I can see it. Look, I need you on point when we move this stuff out of town. Yeah, whatever, man. Call me when it's done. And after this, make sure we got our motherfucking check, all right? Ciao, baby. It is what it is. Yeah, what? It is what it is. Anyway, come here. I'm gonna put you in touch with my legal counsel. Hey, hey, don't touch me, homie. I don't get out like that. Yeah, let me tell you how the world works, Slim. Oh, man. What a freaking doozy, this game. Again, I gotta find me a fucking car. I don't know if I can just get one on the thing, but... I guess I gotta steal one, huh? Okay.
All right, we're at Michael's now. Go see if we can squeeze one more mission in really quick. Hopefully, it's not too long. We're gonna call this an episode. Where you at, man? Your house is empty. Ah, oh, hey. I had to kind of lay low for a while. Yeah, that nice Mexican we met. Me and T did that job for him, and we fell out. You gotta be joking. I wish I was. So where you at now? Place is disgusting. Desert? Out by Alamo Sea? Alright, well, I'll hit you if I find anything. Absolutely. Ah, uh, oh, hey. Trevor's got his wife. Trevor's got a wife? No, no, the Mexican's wife. What? <laughs> Shit, I don't know what to say about that one. Nothing. Nothing to say about that. Run! Run! I'm back! Coming, Trevor! Uh, bring me my coffee, I'm gonna cut your arm off. Absolutely! Who the hell's that, your maid? Oh, business partner. Good guy. Very loyal. Ron, Ron, that is Michael. And this is Patricia. <laughs> uh, listen, beautiful. You know, I'm sorry about everything that's happened. And, uh, you know, I can't guarantee no harm's gonna come to you. I might have to chop you up into little pieces before spraying your pulp mess down the drain, but I really hope it doesn't come to that. I appreciate your honesty. You are a good man. I can see that. You need your eyes examined then. Ron, you miss me? Yeah, Trevor, a bit, I mean. How's the fucking business? I, I, I tried. If you're gonna give me a sob story, I'm gonna rip your fucking throat out and shove a turd down the hole. It's not a sob story, it's just not quite come good yet. But I heard about something to do with Meriwether. Mm, those assholes Big again. cache of weapons they got coming in. So I thought you might want to, uh, requisition it. Fantastic. Let's go. Come in. Whoa, no, 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 not you. Sit down. You're a wanted man. Stay low. And watch her, okay? She's a good lady. Let's go, Ron. Good to meet you, Michael. Fucking come on, let's go. <sighs> the weapons are coming in by air. We've got a plane over at the airstrip, but... Right, let's go. What are you going to do? We're not going to take out a private army on the ground, Ron. we got to meet them in the air. I... Uh, well... Uh, what? <laughs> okay, well, I knew that you were pissed after the Merriweather heist. Giving back the hardware. That was bullshit. Right, right. So I've been monitoring chatter, tapping into Merriweather networks. Feels good to be back in the company of a professional. I gotta say, I got it. Now, I was expecting something a little more impressive. The late, great Michael Townley. Not so late and not so great, right? And no longer called Townley. The years have not been terribly kind. What's the end game, man? We Says you. We going without him. If it's such a good thing, where's my money, huh? Where's my consultancy and my big fat dividend? I want a franchise network, Ron. I want reward cards and merchandise. I want to make gun violence and drug dependency accessible to every man and beast. Crop duster? Right up. Cut you off, dude. Get in touch with my Mexican contact. Tell him we got some guns to sell. I'll get you on the CB. Alright. We gotta go. Here we go, baby. I'm not good at this, so expect a lot of cuts. Well, come on, come on. All right. The Merriweather planes in a holding pattern over Mount Chiliad. Try and stay low. The control tower at Fort Zancudo is monitoring air traffic. Okay. Perfect. So I gotta stay as low as possible. <clears throat> this isn't gonna go terrible at all. 
as well. I'm not good at this whole flying thing. Never had, never will be. Okay, we gotta stay as low as possible. Alright, but if I don't talk, I'm just kind of focus mode because I don't want to do this all over again. Uh, I'm trying, bro, alright? There's freaking trees and shit. Alright. Ah, it's difficult, okay? Give me a moment. Oh, I'm doing it. Did it. Okay, we gotta be very, very. They're not no fly zone. Well, I'm not. In, well, I'm not in it. I'm around it. Again, I'm not good at this, so I'm just kind of chilling at this point. You think I can nail this? Yeah, I got this. Bop. I don't want to go over them, I want to go around them. Gotta go around them. Okay. Probably a little bit too high. Be careful here. The thing about this is that there is no silly save point, so if I die here, I'm going to do this entire thing over. And I remember whenever I would play this in like back in 2013 or something ridiculous like i had to do shit over so many times Not a yes, man. I'm all for giving people their uh, their roses, but making people give the making people give them or making people give them what am I trying to say? Making people give you the roses is insane. Not a yes, man. It's not it doesn't really feel it's not, it doesn't really come from a place that you would like it, you know. I want it to be forever to get around, but it did, so. Alright, I gotta get it up a little bit here. Very careful. Look at the poles. You speak to Oscar, the Mexicans, this deal on. Oh my god. It'd be different if I can get this thing just straight. And turning. Would you be solid? This freaking thing. Go towards you. Oh, this is a little bit too high. I feel like I'm catching up to it, but it, not really at the same time. All right. We're out of military airspace. Clear to gain altitude. Come to match the cargo plane's oh, attitude. Altitude. Come in, light aircraft. Identify yourself and state your intent. Me? I'm just a lonely guy out dusting his crops. Who are you? Okay, watch this thing on my map here, bottom left, where it says, uh, up. Okay, down a little bit, right there. Up a little bit, right there. Now we can even... 
Uh, it's, it's kind of difficult. They kind of they kind of go in up and down, down a little bit more, down a little bit more, up. Fly inside the cargo plane. Jesus. How am I supposed to do that? Oh my god. Am I really gonna do this first try? Oh yeah. Get rich. Here we go. Oh, there's a dude right there that keeps... Okay. I freaking knew I was gonna die on that one. Alright, here we go. We're back at it again. I died there, obviously. But... That one... We did. We did that. I knew I was gonna die there because of the left hand thing. Get out of my cockpit! How is the man supposed to enjoy his beer and peanuts with all these bumps? Okay. Now, who's gonna Take fly over this the controls. Oh my god. Am I gonna freaking fly this thing? Holy shit. Control. Please be advised of a change of destination. We are now landing in McKenzie Field. Swapping radio channels. Over. Run it! Cargo jet is now part of the TP Enterprise fleet. You with the max? We are here, T. Awaiting your arrival. I need to fly. I need to fly completely around here. Okay, where am I? Holy shit! Alright, I'm gonna- I'm just gonna cut whenever I get there, cause this is gonna be... ...a long flight. Well, this is not going as planned. I got shot by some air- some air jets. Air jets. Some jets. Okay, jump from the plane. Oh my god! Oh my god, do not get in the back of the head. Do not get hit in the back of the head. Do not get hit back in the back of the head. Don't get hit in the back of the head back of the head. I can't words right now. Still get hit in the back of the head. I'm out of here. Uh use L to turn. Parachute is not the red thing. Okay. Okay. And parachute. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna guess we have to go towards that maybe. I'm not really sure, to be honest. Put right in the water. So, uh, can I just, like, go down, you think? Like, let me just get, like... God damn it. A car. Perfect. I still need a car, though. Okay, so that was the end of it. Okay, cool. Alright. Oh my god, he about ran me over. Um. Yeah, we're gonna end this right here. Hold on, let's go ahead and talk to Ron real quick. Trevor! Shit, are you okay? I saw the plane go down. I survived, and Lizard Army didn't do so well, so that's something. Ah, oh, thank god. The fuselage went into the Alamo Sea. You might be able to salvage the hardware with dive gear or something. Oh, good idea, but it'll take time. Tell Oscar he ain't getting these guns. Okay, look, I gotta ask. Are you in with the federal government? An agent, Sanchez, was round here saying you and Michael had to meet his supervisors at the garage, the cook site. Fuck, I gotta do this, okay? 
But I'm using them, all right? They, they ain't using me. Let's make that clear. Hmm. All right, guys, we're going to end this right here. It's going to be episode number, I think this is number 11 or 12. 12? 13? I don't know. Um, if you enjoyed it, make sure you guys do YouTube thing, like, comment, subscribe, and share your friends. Always get some Mr. Johnny. I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode. And, uh, yeah. I'm getting excited about this. It's getting really, 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 really good. So, keep it going. Perfect. See ya.